Burgers are a staple across American barbecues all summer long. That said, a lot of people don't know how to make the best burger ever. That's where we come in. We're going to show you how. A great burger requires great, high-quality meat. Do you want to make sure that you have the right proportion of fat content? We'd recommend going between 70-30 to 80-20. Any blend in that range has just enough fat to keep the burger together, juicy, and flavorful. You also want to know how much meat to get. If you're making a diner-style burger, it's about four ounces of meat per person. If you're making a pub-style burger, it's about eight ounces of meat per person. Last but not least, you want to know what cuts to put in your ground beef blend. The most common cuts are chuck, short rib, and round. We'd recommend talking to your butcher and seeing what they have on hand and what they'd recommend. If you don't have a butcher on hand, most grocery stores will offer a pre-made burger blend, or you can go for one of the ratios we mentioned. It's really important that you're only buying meat that is USDA inspected. Now that you know what meat to buy, we're gonna go over two recipes for how to make a diner-style burger and a pub-style burger. First up is the diner-style burger, also called a smash burger. This is always done on a griddle, cast iron, or a skillet. First, you're gonna divide your meat into four ounce portions. If you don't have a scale, this is about the size of a tennis ball. Heat a skillet or a cast iron pan over high heat. When it's just about to smoke, add a bit of oil. Now you're gonna take the four ounce ball of meat and generously season it with salt and pepper. Emphasis on the generous. Place the seasoned side of the meat directly into the pan. With two spatulas, you're gonna smash your burger down into a patty. You wanna make sure that the patty is pretty flat so that it can get a nice, even crust. You cook it for about a minute and a half to two minutes, and then flip and cook it for another minute and a half to two minutes. If you're into a cheeseburger, as soon as you flip, that's when you add the cheese. We'd recommend going the classic route with something like American or cheddar cheese. Use a thermometer to make sure that the meat is cooked to 160 to 165 degrees. Now that your patties are done, the next easy upgrade is to toast your buns. Brush your buns with melted butter, and then place them on the hot pan. This will go really fast. It'll take between 20 and 40 seconds until your bun is toasted. We'd recommend going with any type of soft bun to contrast the crispy exterior of a smash burger. The order of how burgers are stacked is often debated. Some people put the lettuce on top, that's totally fine. We put ours on the bottom to prevent the bun from getting soggy. For the most part, it doesn't make much of a difference. Next up, pub style burgers. Pub style burgers are significantly larger than a diner style burger. These are big guys. With pup style burgers, you're going to season your meat before you form a patty. You should always use salt and pepper, or you can get creative with other seasonings. You're gonna take your seasoned meat and form it into a classic patty form. Once the grill is preheated, add the patty and cook it without moving for three to four minutes. Flip the burger over and cook it for an additional three to four minutes. If you wanna add cheese, make sure to do this when you're two minutes away from being done. You can still stay classic with American or cheddar cheese, but this is a great time to add blue, gruyere, or any other type of cheese you want. Similar to diner-style burgers, you can toast your buns on the grill. Brush them with butter or oil and place them on the grill for 20 to 40 seconds. A heftier pub-style burger requires a stronger bun, like a brioche or Portuguese bun. Pub burgers are great for getting fancy. We did a classic combination of arugula, blue cheese, and caramelized onions. But again, it's up to you. Diner-style burgers are great for when you want something fast, easy, delicious, and more classic. Pub-style burgers are great when you're feeding a crowd. Make sure you're getting high-quality meat, you're seasoning your beef correctly, and that you're not overcooking anything. Follow those tips, and your burgers will go from good to great. Burgers. Burgers. Okay, let's just get serious. This is a really big burger. You should be ready. <laughs> Why, this is my question, is why, why is it so big? big? Yeah. I honestly don't know. 